Ever since man found the minerals lying deep in the cores of earth, development has been entirely orchestrated by the minerals markets. It has the authority over the happenings around the world. India, by virtue of its geographical position, has huge deposits of minerals, which has helped and is supporting the development nationally. Gujarat, one of the largest states of the country, is endowed with various industrial minerals such as agate, limestone, lignite, calcite, fluorite, bauxite, dolomite, bentonite, china clay, etc. The government of Gujarat formed Industries and Mines Department in 1963 to look after the mining and its management. The Industries and Mines Department plays a key role in effective and economic industrial development and focuses on the possibilities to develop fast growth in small, medium and large-scale industries. Since then, the state has achieved many a feats and continues its exemplary work under the leadership of the Honorable Chief Minister of Gujarat, Sri Vijay Rupani. The Gujarat Mineral Research and Development Society was formed in the year 2002. GMRDS undertakes exploration activities in Gujarat state and thereby augments the sector. GMRDS supports CGM in its administrative and operational matters. One of the significant works of GMRDS is to select and train manpower for CGM. Various experts like mine supervisors, royalty inspectors, surveyors, fellow geologists. Scientific assistants are selected and inducted by GMRDS on a regular basis. Other major objectives of the organization includes chemical analysis of mineral samples, system auditing of existing mineral lease, geological chemical mapping system development for unexplored areas in Gujarat and practicing responsible environmental management for sustainable development. The team selected by GMRDS is trained in a systematic manner and their abilities are strengthened to perform highly technical functions of CGM. The selected manpower also undergoes a rigorous physical training of 14 days at the Karai Police Academy. They are trained for physical and meticulous work to be done on the field. The induction includes thorough study of legal formalities of mining and amendments as well as a visit to in-house petrography and mineral chemistry laboratory at Raisan, Gandhinagar. These trainings and classes help the manpower in handling the exploration and analysis which is undertaken by CGM. The Industries and Mines Department has a well-equipped in-house laboratory where the analysis of mineral is done on a regular basis. Analysis of mineral samples forms a vital step in the value chain of mineral development. Sample received after prospecting and exploration by the department, public sector undertakings and private entrepreneurs are analyzed in the petrography and chemical laboratory to establish the physico-chemical characterization of the mineral. The laboratory has procured modern testing equipments to facilitate testing of various parameters of the mineral properties. There are three wings in the laboratory which carries out mineral analytical work, rock identification and establishment of lithology. All the three wings perform physical chemical study of rocks, minerals and clays and quick appraisal of geological setup. The most significant work at the laboratory is the sample preparation for analysis. The process includes breaking of the sample into small particles of approximately 1 to 10 mm by hammers manually. Size reduced samples get crushed and ground manually for 75 to 100 mesh size. 
Ground sample gets heated in oven at 110 degree Celsius for 11 and a half hours for moisture removal and further processed in planetary mill up to 200 mess achieved. Special care is taken that sample should pass through 200 mess sieve. Remaining sample gets further processed in planetary mill till the entire sample passes through it. The kind of analysis done at the laboratory consists of PET analysis, proximate analysis, physical analysis, physico-chemical analysis, petrography analysis and instrumental analysis. The results help in gauging the worth of mining plots and these plots are auctioned based on the value of its mineral deposits. E-auctions are introduced by the government as part of its sincere efforts towards transparency and to maintain fair trade practice. The mineral rights are granted through option of quarry leases through GMMCR 2017 and the government of Gujarat is committed to maintain transparency of auction process and utmost confidentiality of the bidder. Hence the leasing is done through an online portal created for auction. All these efforts have made the work of the government progressive and consumer centric. All across Gujarat, over 206 train manpower is placed, serving each district with their utmost sincerity. Surveillance done by the team is of top notch. Check posts are created in most district and at remote places and a 24-7 patrolling is done through modern facilities like drone. Eight check posts were proposed by GMRDS and are now established at various locations across Gujarat as a surveillance measure. This has curtailed illegal activities at sensitive locations. Every quarter, GMRDS conducts a performance review of all the manpower and based on which they are given increment and other allowances. Refresher courses are also conducted to keep them abreast about changing technologies in the sector. Senior officials always guide and encourage the workforce of the society. Sustainable mineral development is also about balance. Achieving the dynamic balance between supply and demand. Equitable capital distribution. Good financial and environmental management and governance. The government of Gujarat has introduced a star rating system wherein a framework is developed for giving ratings to minor minerals for the efforts and initiatives taken for implementation of the Sustainable Development Framework. GMRDS has assisted in framing this self-assessment template which is available as an online platform for minor mineral leaseholders. For CGM, GMRDS has carried out extensive exploration in Gujarat to create a comprehensive minerals, geological and relevant database and database management strategy for the state. This is done through a technical consultancy agency, NASA's DMT Consulting, who is also strategic technical advisor to create relevant database. The agency studied 679 reports available with CGM, such as 15 remote sensing survey reports, 192 pre-detailed survey reports, 206 detailed survey reports, 206 drilling reports. The agency carried out a detailed diagnostic assessment of these existing geological reports and formed an advisory and strategy for systematic exploration of these areas wherever required to enable further auction of these explored areas. Main objective of the consultancy has been of creating an exploration plan and strategy for minor and major mineral explorations. The agency also submitted a strategy on going paperless for existing as well as future exploration reports and plans. To cater to the emerging needs, GMRDS has created an environment clearance cell. The environment clearance cell works for all minor mineral projects with more than 5 hectare lease area and has made application process mandatory, digital and online 
through the EC portal of the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, the Government of India. The Environment Clearance Cell is headed by geologists and other environmental experts. For advisory and technical expertise, GMRDS has roped in Price Waterhouse Coopers. After careful study, three professional agencies are impaneled who further help the mining sector in understanding and accepting environmental requirements. Training and sessions are conducted for mining leaseholders and to make them more sensitive towards environment. Mesa's SRK Consulting was selected to carry out the updating of the handbook based on the latest best global practices in exploration such as Joint Ore Reserves Committee, United Nations Framework Classification for Resources, National Instrument 43101 with respect to the minerals available in Gujarat. This manual is set to serve as an SOP for the field team and concerned geologists of the department. At the behest of the government of Gujarat, GMRDS appointed Geo Vale and carried out comprehensive assessment of rare earth element and total heavy metals in the state. Twelve potential sites were assessed and have found potential regions to add on to the mineral repository of the state. This was carried out through an analysis of the existing geological and exploration data sets. The sites were segregated for further actions based on occurrence potential of minerals. The key outcomes were identification of three potential regions with rare earth element and total heavy metals potential. Minerals identified in seven districts. Identification of granitic deposits in Mehsana district. Identification of clay deposits in Kutch region for rare earth element and total heavy metals potential. Gujarat is truly setting an example in mining. It values the environment, resources and the economic worth of the deposits. The skilled manpower, modern laboratory, round-the-clock surveillance, transparent auction process and environmentally sensitive practices are indeed taking the mining experiences of the state to new heights.